Hey all, Aaron Chapman, Security National Mortgage Company. Um, you might be wondering, am I dressed in all camouflage? Because I'm supposed to be in New Zealand hunting right now, and this coronavirus thing has caused that to not be a reality. So now I'm home, I'm hunting for ways to help my, uh, my clients, uh, the people in my business to continue to stay strong and move forward. It's times like this that everybody always wanted to be able to have known ahead of time if I would have just taken advantage of that really, really rough time in the economy or when there was blood in the streets, I could have made a fortune. Well, it's here now, guys. You know, Warren Buffett himself says when the streets are full of blood, that's when he gets, that's when he gets greedy. So you have an opportunity now as, a, as there's a river of it flowing through your street to strip down and go, go skinny dipping in that. Got to go out there and find how do I make a huge impact. And the way to make a really, really big impact, quite honestly, get back to the basics. The basics of business. The basics of people. Start cultivating your personal capital with others. If you're a real estate investor and you're worried about whether or not your tenant is going to be able to make the payments, be able to get your, your rent in, are you going to be able to make the payments on the homes that you own, uh, you might want to start reaching out to those tenants. Start communicating. Start figuring out how can you help them. It's amazing how it works. When you help others, they help you. They don't want to be late on the rent any more than you want them to be. But if you're going to be real hard-nosed about it, say, I want my rent, I'm going to hit you with late fame payments and all those kind of things or late fees, and you know darn well how they're going to respond. The same way you would somebody acts like that. What they're going to end up doing is like, really? Well, we're going to get the heck out of here. Go ahead and come after us after our lease. We're going to tear up your carpet. We're going to have concrete down your toilet. Treat people right. They will take care of you. So reach out to them. Start cultivating that human capital. Build the relationship stronger. We're all in the same mess. When you think about this mess, it, it's something that's controllable. We've seen that it's very controllable. I mean, China's back to work. The problem is, is that humans are the ones that are causing the problem. We're freaking out. We need to calm down. What really boils down to this coronavirus, sure, it's probably, it, it's definitely bad. But there's a lot of things that have been bad that we've been able to weather without even noticing it. It's just got great PR. It's got the, one of the best PR agencies in the, in, in, in ever been. Because look at that thing has taken a whole globe down. So, what are we going to do about this? Back to the basics. Basics of your business. Figure out... If you are worried about an impact, what things did you have that in your business that you should be shoring up when it was better? Anybody can kick ass when things are good. Anybody can have a great business when everybody's serving out free lemonade and brownies. Maybe you have to bake your own right now. So it's time to figure out what is it you need to put in place to assure against these things. If you're ever taking cash flow and using that for your own personal use, shouldn't do that. Put it, keep it in your business. Build up reserves for this. This is a great opportunity to shore up your business, great opportunity to reach out to others and build them up, and you'll take care of you at the same time.